Hey, what's up guys? Getting ready to head back over to Gainesville to drop off my buddy. So, stay tuned for the Nether travel vlog. If you haven't watched part one, it's about 15 minutes. And it is a long video. It is a great video. I'll put a link in the description box or I'll put a, like, um, adaptation or whatever you call it above my head so you guys can check that out as well. So, with that being said, let's start the vlog off right. shit is this why do you park so close to somebody they can't even get into their vehicle dummy so like i said i have to climb in through the passenger side because that clown over there made it physically impossible for me to even get into the driver's side right now i gotta i'm gonna try uh Boston Market because that that actually sounds good. A friend of mine used to uh, work at a Boston Market and she used to uh, pump it up and say it was extremely good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be eating uh, in my car before I head home because I got a sandwich at home, but I did get a, a sandwich and I know you're not supposed to eat and drive, but when a man's got to eat, a man's got to eat. Got to charge my phone. Apologize for the lighting. Uh, I did get a rotisserie chicken uh, sandwich with lettuce, tomato, onion. And that's what I got. It looks really, really delicious. And it has Dijon, Dijon mustard on it. It has lettuce, tomato, Dijon mustard, the chicken, and... It has um, cheddar cheese. That's actually pretty bomb. When you haven't eaten it all day, anything's bomb. But chicken sandwiches are always my favorite thing. And one key thing about this sandwich, I can tell it's real chicken, not that garbage you get from like McDonald's. I can definitely tell by eating it, it's real uh, chicken. That's what makes it a hell of a lot more flavorful. Yeah, I'm still currently in um, Gainesville. That sandwich was bomb. That sandwich was off the chain. I've never tried that because we don't have that where I live. There was supposed that it was the Boston Market where we live, but it's no longer there. But like I said, usually when you go out to a restaurant and you're not familiar with what the restaurant has, it's kind of known for like their chicken, their rotisserie, because that, that restaurant, I, from what I'm uh, mistaken, is known for like the rotisserie chicken. So more than likely, it's it's going to be what they're good at. And you could tell, like I said in a uh, previous clip, that that was legit chicken. It wasn't whatever McDonald puts in their little chicken nuggets, because that we know isn't real meat or whatever the hell it is. It doesn't taste like that. That tasted like something that I cooked in my house and I put on put on some bread with some lettuce and it was off the chain. What is it with truck drivers who like to ride your ass? I don't understand that. Like, okay, I'll be doing the speed limit and then you got truck drivers like right behind me that are just riding my ass. Like, they think I should be doing 75 or 95. 
guys know, I mean, I understand you go a little bit faster than the speed limit, but when you're doing almost 80 and they're riding your ass, there's a problem there. You can't just be riding people's asses all the time. And that's why one reason when there's no cars in front of me and there's like a big rig or other cars behind me, I just put it in cruise control and do about 70 so uh, or 75, whatever the speed limit is. And I wonder why I get running off the road because a lot of times, guys, like I said, if it's 65, I'll do about 70, 75, and I'll be in a slow lane. But a lot of these big rigs, they don't give a damn. They'll just be like trying to mow you down. It just seems like sometimes these trucks are just like the haul ass, and once you get out of the way, and if you don't get out of the way of these truckers, they're gonna play games. And a lot of these truckers do play games. I've had it where, when I was in California one time, me and my ex-girlfriend were just driving in the mountains, and this bigger just came coming right up to the uh, bumper of her car, back down, kept doing it, and we finally pulled off the side of the road, and we drove maybe a mile or two up the road, and they were all parked on the side of the road because they were afraid that we called the police. But in that time, day and age, around 2006, cell phones weren't as great as they are now, so when you try to call like police or something, and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you didn't really get a cell reception like you do now. Now you get a cell, rece cell reception anywhere and everywhere you go. First time I experienced a trucker that basically was playing games. And my dad told me stories where a trucker was tailgating him and he was doing almost like 90 something and they finally had to uh, just floor it and drive off the side of the road into like a parking lot and almost hit the building because they were driving that fast and the trucker uh, back then in like the 70s or 80s um, my dad found out after he went like three miles of the road they were all parked on the side of the road behind like a um, like trees or something and he was like yep that was them they were uh, playing games and there's even a movie about it where a truck driver uh, terrorizes this guy until the uh, truck driver dies. But they never show the uh, truck driver. They show the, the main character. And he's doing like 95 in like a Honda Civic, the whole movie. And finally blows up, basically almost blows up the engine. But truckers just like to F around too much. And that that's an honest uh, truth. I'm not saying all truckers are bad. I know a, tru uh, a truck driver myself. And I don't know how she drives. But I understand some of these truck drivers do drive uh, pretty bad. I mean, everybody drives bad uh, one time or another, but I just believe that um, when you're cruising down the interstate, you don't need to be just flying down the interstate. That's just my honest opinion. You don't just need to be uh, flying down the interstate where you're uh, causing havoc just so you can get people out of the way. But... Let me know if you guys have ever had a uh, problem where you're just driving down the interstate or just driving down like the main highway and you got big rigs that are messing with you. They usually don't do it like on a main surface road, like let's say a normal two lane highway. They normally mess around like on the interstate when you're out in the middle of nowhere. They like to mess around. And I don't know if it's because you're bored or if it's because you have nothing going on.